In this illustration, we intend to simulate the semi-supported steel shear wall undergoing a cyclic loading in the Abacus software. As you observe, this model is composed of beam, plate, main column, secondary column, auxiliary column, stiffeners, and hinges. In this question, the beam and column has been connected together using hinges. And in this picture, the place on which hinges stand has been distinguished. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied uh, to the top of the shear wall. And following that, its hysteresis diagram will be drawn. In this picture, uh, the hysteresis uh, diagram gained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. In this picture, the deformation of the shear wall under the uh, cyclic loading can be observed. Actually, we intend to simulate the, this article in the Abacus software. The article is, is uh, entitled uh, Seismic Behavior of Semi-Supported Steel Shear Walls. In this picture, the shear wall having been modeled in the Abacus uh, software can be observed. As previously mentioned, the beam and column have been connected together by hinges. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall can be observed. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend uh, to create a geometric shape of the plate. I will select 3D, deformable, shell, and planner. Select approximate size equal to 5,000 and continue. I will draw a rectangle. Enter its length of the plate equal to 1,350 millimeters and it's its width equal to 1100 millimeters in the next step i will uh, enter geometric shape of ipe 100 into the assembly section and rotate that 90 degrees about X axis. In the next step, I will select a geometric shape of IPE 100 and rotate that 90 degrees about Y axis.
In this table, the properties of different parts of the model have been defined. First, I will define the properties of plate. I will click on general menu, then on density. The density is equal to 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9. I will click on mechanical menu, elasticity and elastic. The Young modulus is equal to 165 gigapascal and the Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. In the next step, I will click on Mechanical menu, Plasticity and Plastic. The yield stress is equal to 130 megapascal, and the ultimate stress is equal to 280 megapascal. The thickness of the plate is equal to 1 millimeter. Click on Create section. The thickness of RHS is equal to 4 millimeters. Here we should replace buckle step with a dynamic implicit step. Here I will select dynamic implicit and continue. I will enter time period equal to 62 seconds. The analysis will be done in non-linear form. Here I will select a quasi-static. As already mentioned, the beams and columns have been connected together by hinges. And this can be clearly observed in the Abacus software.
In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram. To do so, we will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. I will select all reaction forces. Click on Save As and add all reaction forces up together. I will click on Create XY Data, then on Operate on XY Data and continue. Here I will select Combine, then U3 and Total Force and click on Save As. Here you can observe the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. I will transfer that to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. And the second column is force, the unit of which is Newton. Here the diagram having been drawn with red color is the one having been obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated correctly and properly in the Abacus software.